and Sarah are going to draw a baseball and a bat. Yeah, we hope you're going to follow along. You need your drawing supplies. We're using markers, but you can use whatever you have. You also need some paper and something to go with. Yeah, you ready to start? Yes. Let's first start by drawing the baseball in the top left corner of our paper. And let's just draw a circle. And even though that seems small, compared to the bat that we're drawing, this is going to be huge, almost the size of a basketball. <laughs> but that's okay, right? Yeah. We, if we drew the baseball at the right size, it would be a lot smaller. But let's, that's okay. We're going to draw it bigger. And now let's draw the seam on our baseball. We'll draw the first one at the bottom, and then we'll draw another one up here at the top. And then we're going to add stitching later with a red marker. Okay, let's now draw the baseball bat. And we're going to draw it diagonal on our paper. So let's turn our paper diagonal and we're going to try to draw the bat coming from this corner all the way down to this corner. So the first two lines we're going to draw are for the top part of the bat, the part where you try to hit the ball with. And then we're going to draw it going, we'll start here. I'm going to draw it, trying to draw it aimed towards the bottom corner. And I think it's a little easier to turn the paper diagonal so you can pull the line directly towards you to make it straight. Yeah, that, good job. That's awesome. Now let's leave a little space and we're going to draw that same line to match. I'm going to draw it coming right next to it. The same length. And this is called parallel. So our lines are parallel. That means they don't get closer or further away. Now let's draw the top of the bat. We're going to draw a curve in the corner, but then draw a straight line and then curve again. Yeah, good job. Now the handle for the bat is going to get thinner, but then it's going to also get thicker towards the very bottom. So we're going to try to draw it thin coming in towards the middle and then we're going to come back out. And I, I probably drew it really thin, but then I'm going to draw the other side. <laughs> the next time I draw it, I'll try to draw this a little thicker and not as curved. <laughs> But we're practicing, right? Yeah. And I love that our two drawings don't look exactly the same. They're both turning out awesome. And it's okay if your drawings look different too, because the most important thing is... To have fun. Yeah, and to... Practice. Practice. Remember to practice. This is a fun drawing lesson that you can do over and over again. And I promise the second time you draw, it will even turn out better than the first time. Okay, let's keep going. Now let's draw the very bottom of the handle. We're going to draw a line that comes across like this. And then we're going to draw another line right next to it that's parallel going this way. Then we're going to connect the left side and the right side or the top and the bottom. Cool. Now, if you want, you could add different designs to your bat. You could also add a label if you want. I'm going to actually add a little design. Watch this. I'm going to draw a line here and here. And I'm going to color the handle in black, but because I'm going to color it in black, I'm going to add a little extra line here so that it's not as skinny. I'm going is to that, do that too. Is that cool? Yeah. Yeah. And then I'm going to switch from the fine tip end of my marker to the chiseled side, and then I could actually color that in. Now bats come in all different sizes and shapes and also different colors and designs on them. And uh, also there's bats that are just solid wood. So you could even leave off the handle and just color the whole thing brown. You can change it any way you want. Now we still have one more thing to do. Color it. Yeah. Let's pick out our colors and we'll come back. We're using our Art for Kids Hub alcohol based markers. If you have the same set, you could use the same numbers or same colors that we're using. And we picked out 103 brown. 24 is more of an orange, light orange color, 15 red, and 66 blue. But you could also color your drawings any way you want. And also you could use different brand of markers or something completely different like colored pencils or even crayons. So let's first start by coloring our bat. And we picked out 24 as the light, the lighter color. And let's color it in solid. And this part will speed up. So remember to pause the video. You can take time to color in your drawings. I also used 66 blue to add a little stripe right here. And because I colored on top of the orange or the brown, it changed the color. Looks a little more green, yeah. which I think is cool too. Okay, now switch to our 103 brown and let's use the fine tip end of the marker and we can add the wood texture to our bat. First, I'll start up here and we're going to add like a little curve that comes up and then back 
into the bat. Then we could also add another curve next to it that comes down and we could add more curves. And I'm not sure <laughs> if this is probably the right texture, but we want it to look like wood. So we're gonna add that wood grain texture to it. And don't worry about making the texture look exactly like mine. You can change it any way you want. That looks awesome. I also added texture down here. Then we can switch to the chisel side or the bigger side of our marker and add a shadow on the right side. I'm gonna go all the way down the edge like this. This will make our bat look more 3D. And then I'm gonna add a little shadow down here. So we're pretending that the light is shining down, like maybe the sun shining from this direction. So the shadows on the opposite side. That looks really good. You did a great job, Austin. Let's add one more thing to our bat. We have our white colored pencil, Prismacolor colored pencil. And we're gonna add a highlight right here to the handle. And if you want to make the bat look shiny, you could also add this highlight all the way up. Then you can also add a little white highlight down here at the very bottom. There we go. Now our bat looks super 3D or more round. We picked out a new color, CG1, and uh, this is for a shadow on our baseball. We're gonna add the shadow on the same side as the bat for the ball. So I'm gonna start here and we'll just add a little shadow that comes around. That looks like a crescent shape on our baseball. Then we're ready to add the stitching Let's switch to our red marker, 15, and we're gonna add letter V's going across the seam. So I'm gonna add a sideways letter V right there in the middle, and then we can add more of these stitches going to the left, and then also going to the right. Then let's do the same thing on the top, except we're gonna draw the stitching going the other way. So we're gonna add one right in the middle, but going the other direction, that's okay. You're just gonna add the rest of the stitches right next to it. But we're making sure that these stitches are going the other direction. And we did it! We finished drawing our baseball and bat and they turned out awesome. You could be super proud of your drawing. How old are you? 11. 11, you did awesome. And what else could our art friends add to their drawings? A background. Yeah, you could finish your drawing by adding more things in the background. Maybe you could draw baseball players or even the diamond. Or you could add a baseball hat. Oh yeah, that would be really cool too. We would be a lot of fun drawing a baseball and a bat. We do, we hope you had a lot of fun and we'll see you later, our friends. Goodbye. Goodbye.